to prevent the worst case scenario from the other guy, right? So if you, if you look at, I'm, I'm sort of fascinated by the, the history of this period because it really does speak to how does a democracy break down? I mean, the 20s, Weimar Republic was a very liberal democracy. How does a liberal democracy break down into complete fascism and then into genocide? And there, there's a character who you know, was very prominent in the history of that time uh, named Franz von Papen, who was actually the second to last chancellor of the Republic before Hitler. So he was the chancellor and then he handed it over to Schleicher. And then he ended up, Schleicher ended up collapsing and that ended up handing power over to Hitler. It was Papen who had stumped for Hitler to become chancellor. Uh, Papen was a, was a Catholic Democrat. He didn't like Hitler. He thought that Hitler was a radical and a nut job. But he also thought that Hitler being a buffoon, as he saw it, was going to essentially be usable by the right forces in order to get the, in order to prevent the communists from taking power. 